enter carefully, minimising the movement of the water around the casualty. Conduct a vice grip. Once the casualty is face up, check for breathing. Bring the casualty towards the edge and conduct a trapezius grip. Ensure the casualty's head is placed securely between the forearms. Support the casualty's hips. The lifeguard may find it easier to be sitting on a buoyant aid, like a rescue tube. With direction from other lifeguards, knife the spinal board under the casualty. Place a buoyant aid under the board to assist if needed. The chest strap should be below the armpits and as high over the thoracic cage as possible without restricting breathing. The hip strap should be over the crest of the pelvis and over the wrists. Do not tighten on the stomach as this may cause vomiting. The thigh strap should be over the lower half of the thigh. The calf strap should be around the lower half of the calf. Working back up towards the head, recheck the tightness of each strap. Conduct a vice grip to allow the lifeguard to be released from the trapezius grip. Place the speed blocks in the tracks on the board. With even pressure, bring these towards the casualty's head and lock them in place. The lifeguard can now hold the board. The lifeguard then exits the water. The remaining lifeguard moves to the feet. Lift the casualty's head onto pool deck. With minimal disturbance to the casualty, continue to move the casualty onto pool deck. 